Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the determination of XD and XQ by slip test in the alternator. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic XD XQ determination using the slip test. First we will refer the circuit diagram. So this is a circuit diagram, it is a three phase alternator. RYB. So field current. Field. Field is kept open. F1, F2 is kept open. It is connected through the three phase variac. This is an in output side and input side. It is connected to three phase supply RYB using the switch TPST. Triple pole single thrown switch. And this side also one more TPST switch is available. This is named as S2 and this is named as S3. So the armature winding is given through the supply given through the three phase varia. Field winding is kept open. This three phase varia is coupled with the motor, DC motor. It is connected through the DC supply. It is connected through three phase starter. It is a DPST switch, double pole single thrown switch. It is named as S1. This is S1, S2, S3. So this field winding of the motor. By adjusting the field winding we can vary the rate of speed of the motor. So this is the circuit diagram. Three phase alternator, armature winding, field winding is kept open, supply is given through the three phase area and both the side TPSC switch is available named as S2 S3 coupled with the DC motor is connected through DC supply started by the three phase starter. So using this test we are able to find the XD, SQ, SQ parameters. So first DC supply is given to the motor. By adjusting the field winding you can vary the field current so that we brought the motor at the rated speed. So motor is coupled with the alternator so the alternator also rotated at the synchronous speed. Rated speed is called a synchronous speed. After alternator rotates at the synchronous speed the dp the using three phase area the supply is given to the alternator the condition is field winding is kept open the condition is while connecting the three phase area if the current is maximum and voltage uh, voltage is maximum and current is minimum at that condition we are able to find the xt parameter we will see how we are finding what is the concept we will see later. So maximum voltage minimum current we are able to find the XD parameter. Minimum voltage and maximum current we are able to find XQ parameter. So during the procedure we will see how we are calculating what is the concept beyond that. So by using this we are able to find the XD and XQ parameter. Here am ammeter is available so we can measure the current through the armature. Here is, uh, similarly voltmeter is available. We can measure the volt, volt voltage. Now we will see the procedure. What we discuss, we will see the procedure and what is the concept. So value of XD and XQ is found by the slip test. Slip test is con connected by keeping the field, field winding of the alternate is open circuited. Field winding is kept open. Three phase supply is given to the stator winding of the alternator through the varia, three phase varia. The procedure is the alternator is run at the speed close to the synchronous speed using the three phase using the DC motor. The armature winding is supplied with the rated voltage by the three phase varia. So using DC motor the alternator is run near by the synchronous speed and three phase supply is given to the three phase varia. Now we will see how to find DQ and DT. So when the stator MMF is aligned with D axis the flux pi D and the reactance is XD. So the stator MMF field, field is open circuited. The stator MMF is aligned with D axis means 
the flux will be pi d and reactance will be x d. Similarly, when the stator is aligned with q axis, the flux is pi q and reactance is x q. Now, what is the condition? In the d axis, the reluctance is less. So, the mm of is high and voltage is minimum and current is, voltage is maximum but current is minimum. So, this is the condition we are using using the varia. We are keeping voltage maximum with minimum current so that this d axis reluctance is less and mm of is high in this condition. Similarly, in Q axis, the reluctance is high, so the mm of is less and voltage is minimum, but current is maximum. So, this is the two condition. We are keeping voltage maximum with minimum current. So, we are able to find the D axis parameter. Voltage minimum and current maximum, we are able to find Q axis parameters. So, that is the condition. Now, we will see how we are calculating what is the formula. So, at D axis, voltage is maximum and current is minimum. That is V max and I min. So, by using that, we are able to find XD. XD equal to V max divided by I min, maximum voltage by minimum current. Similarly, at Q axis, voltage is minimum and current is maximum. V min I max. So, that we are able to find XQ equal to V min divided by I max, minimum voltage by maximum current. So, by using these two condition, maximum voltage minimum current that will be attained in the D axis. When it is current is minimum and voltage is maximum, the it is aligned with the X axis, D axis. Voltage is minimum current maximum mean it is aligned with Q axis. Based on the condition, we are able to find XD and XQ parameter. So, in this video, we discuss how to find the xd xq parameter using the slip test of the alternator. First we discuss the circuit diagram. Three phase alternator is connected to the three phase supply through the three phase variable by keeping field winding open that is the condition and it is coupled with the DC motor. First the DC motor is rotated at the rated speed so that alternator also rotated at the rated speed, synchronous speed. Then three phase supply is given through the three phase variable. Using two conditions, maximum voltage, minimum current, we are able to find XD parameters because at that condition, it is aligned with the D axis. Similarly, minimum voltage and maximum current, it is aligned with Q axis. So, we are able to find the XQ parameter. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening. All the best for your examination.